today we're going to be talking about portfolios and in particular online portfolios. We want a way that you can show your amazing work that you've done as a student to potential internship supervisors and hopefully you could use this when you're looking for a professional job later as well. Now with looking at online portfolios, one of the important things we want to do is we want to distinguish who you are and make you different than everyone else. So your portfolio should reflect something about you, what you bring to the job, your values, personality, as well as your work. So there's a few things that we're going to do, and I'll show you some examples of some student portfolios that you could uh, potentially use to brainstorm. Um, and you'll see that we're establishing your personality. We are including samples of your work. You're going to briefly discuss your work so that whoever's looking at it understands the context of it. And we'll include things such as a resume um, and uh, so that who's ever looking at your portfolio has access to your most current resume. All right, so first of all, as I mentioned, we want to distinguish you as different from everyone else and what values you have. So I want to show you quickly uh, one that was done by uh, Joshua Rice, and he has his for broadcast, production, video videography, motion, media. And what we have here is a very professional approach to, uh, to his work, and let us look at his work page. This is an actual website and I'm going to have you doing this on a different program but I still wanted to give you an idea of the feel of it. So so he um, has these different categories and so if you want to learn about his videography you would click here and it, it would play and in, um, I'll often I'll ask you to write something about whatever you're posting. And in this case, he didn't write it because it is in a part of the, the video. So if you're going to narrate it or include captions, then you might not need to write uh, like a body copy of something. But anyway, so we have these different categories of the types of work he's done. The potential employer can you know click, look, watch, whatever he has. And he does have a resume on here as well. And again, this is a, a website, but yeah, you could click on web on resume um, if wanted. Now, I want to show you a really different feel. So this is a student, and just feel how different this portfolio is than Joshua Rice's. So Isaac is more energetic, frenetic, and um, you get a very different, idea of a very different personality than Joshua. And he has this headline, I believe in the power of storytelling to create interest in anything. So there, um, have a headline and I'll ask you guys to think about you know, a good headline to kind of encapsulate who you are. And so he included, we have this, where we have some information about him. And again, we just like to, to include some narrative about yourself and then you, and this, this isn't actually done. Um, this particular website isn't fully done, but it's been started. So we have photos. However, these photos, we'd probably need to have a little bit of a caption, some writing about them to kind of put them in context for someone. And we have videos. Again, uh, I would like, you know, if, if we need to have some narrative here to explain what the videos are, that would be good. And let's look at a really different kind of one. So we start out with this idea. I'm Lauren. And then um, you'll see that she will talk about one project and you could actually click on this and read more about it. But it's explaining what, what work was done. Let me do another one in which, so we have something that she did and then explains it here, which is good. So again, the work, a title, and then an explanation of it. And that's what you'll want to do is do some explanations. I think I have one more. Yes, we have one more here. 
and um, we get a little bit of an idea of her here. Let's go to, as she lists, let's go to writing samples. So you'll see she'll include what she did and explain it here so that you understand what it is. And these were for courses. Uh, so work as a student. So this is a good idea for something you could do if you have some class projects, then you can include this kind of information. Uh, you will have a lot of control over how you want it to, to look and feel. And I just wanted to give you this brief overview of what your online portfolio is. And for my students who already have a website, you are welcome to continue to use that website for this project. And for my students who are in the process of building a website in a web design class this semester, you can wait to turn in your website until the end of the semester because uh, you won't have it all done when the due date for this, you might not have it all done when the due date for the online portfolio happens, uh, but that's okay. I'm happy to work with you on that. For the rest of you, I have been looking into new solutions about free online portfolio sites. And so we are going to get to that. And let me introduce where I think you might want to build your portfolio. But before I do, let me just say, if you find a different place that you want to build it, that's okay. This is just an idea. It's a site that you can register for free. You can design for free and they have templates that are very customizable, but it will be completely up to you if you want to use it. All right, let's get to it. We need to create an online portfolio for this internship seminar class, and let's talk about how we can do it for free. Now, you could technically have lots of options if you just type in free online portfolios, but I've checked into a lot of these to find out what I think is the best option if you don't already have a portfolio website. Now, if you already have a portfolio website, fabulous. Whether you created it in a web design class or created it on your own, that's great. You can go ahead and keep using it. Uh, but if you don't, let's talk about options. Now, you can create a Squarespace site. Um, however, a couple things you have to know. Squarespace owns your portfolio and can do whatever they want with it. Plus, to actually get people to be able to access it, you will need to pay. Wix is going to be the same thing. Now, Canva is great, but it's hard to do this for the f with the free version. Now, it says there's a free version, but I found that it's pretty throttled in what you're able to, to use, and it is um, really obviously uh, watermarked that you're not a paying customer in Canva, which is kind of awkward, which is why I am going to recommend Adobe Express. So let's just say you don't have an Adobe account we just want to find Adobe Express. Uh, I just go to Google, type in Adobe Express. And by the way, it's been known by lots of other names. It used to be Adobe Spark, and then it was Adobe Creative Express. Now it's Adobe Express. So we are simply going to go to Adobe Express here. And you can get Adobe Express free. And so I recommend doing that. So just go ahead, get Adobe Express for free, and you would then uh, create an account if you don't already have one. If you have a paid Adobe account, then great, you have access to this already. Um, but let's just um, say that you don't and you're going to sign up, so obviously you'll put your uh, you will need to create an account, so you'll go here, create an account, and now you will uh, sign up for it. Once you've uh, signed up for our account and are logged into Adobe Express, uh, you're going to have a screen that probably looks something like this, although I'm sure they change their backgrounds and whatnot every now and then. All right, so let's Go to the search bar, and since we're working on an online portfolio, let's click in portfolio. Oh, look, online portfolio. 
that's what we want. So let's see what kind of things they show us. So they ask what you want it for. Um, let's call this a business, personal. Yeah, probably that personal might be a better one. So we'll just, or a photography portfolio. Anyways, you can look at these and see what, see what you think. Um, here, it just kind of gave me a blank one, a create from scratch, which isn't actually what I want. So I'm gonna go back out here and this time I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to do this because I want to say that I only want free templates and I want them to be from the US or um, basically the default I think is easiest to have the US so everything's in English. If you have a particular type of mood that you want for your portfolio you can click it there um, you know, you can make specifications of what you want. Um, maybe I'm just going to click neutral for the moment and see kind of what we got here. And I'm going to go back and put in portfolio. I'm probably going to have to select these again. I'm going to say free and then I could go back and, you know, if I wanted to click, you know, that neutral. But let's just kind of look at some of these that are here and see what we like. If you see one that um, automatically looks good, great. I think there's one other thing I want to click. Um, I'm going to go to type and I'm going to click multiple pages because some of these are just covers and not a bunch of pages. So here, these will have multiple pages, which will make your life a lot easier if you want to use kind of a template that somebody else has done a lot of design work for you. And I'm, I have looked at this one, and I think it's really an interesting one, and it's something that I think a photography would work for photography, but it would work for other things as well. So I like the look of that one, kind of like the look of this one as well. And so, Let's walk through with picking this one. So as I'm looking at this one, I can do a double click and I can change things in here. So, you know, I can put my name in there. It was somebody else's name to begin with. Um, I can change instead of photography. I could say that this is advertising portfolio yeah so I can make uh, some of these changes and just so you can know a few things um, you know, if you click on here you can change you know and if you highlight what your what font you want to change you can come over to the left hand side and you can choose different fonts uh, you can change choose different weights and you can change the size of the font so you can make some choices there and you can, you know, do you want it to have an outline? <laughs> I don't like an outline, but anyways. Um, so those are some things you can do and you'll see some recommended things here that they're, that basically Express is just saying, hey, these are all pleasing-ish. So maybe if you don't like what's here, you could try one of these layouts and it will automatically change the fonts and sizes and everything for you. But I, I like the one that's here. Now let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look here and go to some other pages. So uh, what I want to talk about in regards to an online portfolio is not only do you want to show your work, but you want to describe your work a bit. And we want to get kind of a a nice headline for each type of thing you're going to feature. So if this is the uh, page for black and white photography, life in monochrome, could be a nice title there, black and white photography, and then a section here where you can talk about it. Now the original template did not have all of this. All it had was the headline and a bunch of pictures. I just added 
I duplicated a couple to show that there would be six pages here, and I added uh, these two boxes. So how did I do that? Um, all I did was I went over to text on the left hand side, text, to add text, and then come on, add text. You know, actually, now that I think about it, I did it differently than that, actually. So what I actually had done was I took what they had already had written here, Life in Monochrome, and I went to the More, and I pressed Duplicate, and then I brought it down, and then I changed the, the font. So I went with a more of a an easy read font so let's say if i went let's say if i did georgia regular and then i wanted to change the size come down here to change the size um, so that's what you can do if um, like i don't know for me i feel like you used to be able to just click on this and then click over here and it would put in the text box but it wasn't working for me right now okay so now I'm going to get rid of this, so I'm just going to click it, and I am just going to press the delete button, or the backspace button on my computer, and voila, it is gone. So why do we have this here? Now I just have lorem ipsum text, which is kind of like nonsum text. Um, for the most part, I just have the first sentence to kind of show the direction I was going in. This series demonstrates and we then explain to whoever's looking at your portfolio what this is about. This series demonstrates uh, proficiency in blah, 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 blah. And so we just give a little bit of information because it is important in a portfolio that we don't just drop work in without having some type of explanation. We always want to be able to uh, to talk about it and to uh, express what's what's happening. Now, if you get in here and you think, you know what, this is a little too dark gray for me. Um, on this one, I believe we have a couple elements here that you could edit. Uh, this is yeah, an image, is uh, one aspect here, uh, but we also have the background color, and if you want it, so if an image, if you, you could either move it, you know, you can drag and drop it, or you could delete it if you decide you don't want it. For the background, we can go to the background color here, and you can uh, choose a different color that you would like it to be, so there are some more colors you can um, uh, if you want to type in a hex key, if you know what color you want, you can do that, but you can easily change those colors. All right, so let's see what else can we do here. Change theme. Oh, we could change the color theme. I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm, we're using a template generally for a reason, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, then let's go to another page. So here we have a page that we have a resume on, and so just literally just uploaded a PDF of it here. It's nice to have at least one place where you can have a resume on there so the person doesn't have to either go back through emails to find your resume or have to download it from a Dropbox. They can just see it here while you're working. And so basically, you could also have an About Me page in which, again, try to have some type of uh, engaging, have some type of engaging headline, uh, tell a little bit about yourself, and no, we do not want you to send me notifications. And so tell a little bit about yourself and make it interesting and engaging. Think in terms of kind of that elevator pitch about yourself for an interview, also kind of have an elevator pitch about yourself for here. And um, then that is a good thing. Let's see what are some other things we can do here we could talk about. So you can add uh, media. Uh, so let's say we wanted to add a, we wanted to add a video. If we are on here, we can upload a video to here. And so you could put that in um, we 
let's see oh they have some videos of their own here which i doubt you're going to want to have uh, but basically the uploading is important there you can have ai generate an image but i don't think you probably want that i tried this to be funny a little while ago and i just wanted to make a picture of <laughs> of uh, my son's cat wearing a sweater and let's see if it, i can find it because it was really pretty funny um, how bad it was um, so so i told it i just took the picture of the cat and i said put a sweater on the cat and it took me like 18 tries before i finally got this one which okay but it was pretty bad um, anyways so it the ai is not all that great at this point right now okay so we have this here and what else can we do so elements we can add if you want to add shapes backgrounds you can click here some things are free some things aren't i would recommend if you are not if you don't already have adobe creative cloud then just go with the free stuff but we could let's say we wanted to have a circle a circle frame um, it would show us and if it has a symbol I believe it means you pay for it and if it doesn't have that symbol you do not have to pay for it. I think that means premium uh, so you just look for a circle that would fit what you want to you know you click all and you have lots of choices here you can also do a grid so if you are wanting to do a set of photographs um, you can put in one of these grids and then just put all your photographs in there and so that's easy enough to do you upload if you want to upload your files here you upload upload your files okay so this is basically what we're working with in order to get a free online portfolio uh, remember you know, customize get good headlines write something about each element each page that you have what does this page tell us you know include resume include links like video links and you can also have a page that has a social media links if you want to drive people to your social media now it's time to share it so you can provide a link to uh, a potential employer so let's go up to the share button and we are going to go to view only link and it uh, may take a minute for it to for it to actually publish it and then provide a link uh, but once it does you can copy the link i'm going to open a new window now i'm going to paste in that link and let's see how it will look to the potential employer so this is what it will look like here will be your portfolio and it's will get you get you online get your work online and have you be able to share it with those potential employers so think about how you want them to uh, to see you but at least it's a free option which is great and I do think Adobe Express is fairly easy to use it's kind of natural uh, you know it's in you kind of intuitive and there are tons of YouTube videos out there that will show you how to do various things so this is your next step for the internship seminar class is work on an online portfolio good luck I can't wait to see what you create and let me know if you have any questions